Margaret Qualley has created an impressive resume for herself in Hollywood, starring in films and TV series like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, The Nice Guys, and HBO's The Leftovers. The dancer-turned-model-turned-actress has shown off her skills on some of the biggest runways in fashion, including several couture shows in Paris. She has also done so on and off the big screen. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Margaret Qualley. A parent trap went wrong. Sarah Margaret Qualley was born on October 23, 1994, in Los Angeles, California, to veteran actress and model Andy McDowell and former model Paul Qualley. Her parents separated when she was just five, and she attempted to use her love for Lindsay Lohan's The Parent Trap to get them to reunite. It didn't work, as she told the Belfast Telegraph, like every child of divorce, I had parent trap fantasies. In fact, The Parent Trap was my favorite movie. I was a 90s baby, so I particularly loved the Lindsay Lohan version. I made a point of telling my mom how much I loved the movie. I talked about it a lot. And then she started dating Dennis Quaid, who stars in the film. And I was like, no. He got it all wrong. This is not what I meant at all. She is a former ballet dancer. Many children of celebrities have chosen to follow in the footsteps of their famous parents. One of them is Margaret Qualley, who has made a name for herself as an actress like her mother. Despite this, Qualley has revealed that she wasn't planning on becoming an actress at all. According to The Hollywood Reporter, she was planning on forging a career of her own as a dancer. In fact, she trained as a professional ballerina at quite a young age. When she was 14, she went to the University of North Carolina School of the Arts and, at 16, she moved to New York City to study at the American Ballet Theater. Suddenly, in the middle of a dance class, she realized that she was dancing for the wrong reasons. She told Vogue, I thought, I'm hating this class. I'm doing it for all the wrong reasons. I'm only here because I want to be better at school on Monday. At that point, Qualley got emotional, left the class, and never returned. Even though she gave up dancing, it did help her land an ad with Kenzo in 2016, in which she plays a crazed dancer at an awards show. She tried modeling. Qualley tried her hand at modeling after quitting dance. She is one of IMG's models, a well-known modeling agency. She made her modeling debut at the age of 16 during New York Fashion Week. Unfortunately, modeling only pushed her into isolation. She struggled to make friends and she even started talking to herself. She only lasted a few months as an IMG model, eventually making the switch to acting and following in her mother's footsteps. She told C, modeling was easy and I was fortunate enough to be able to capitalize on the way that I looked in a society that will pay you to look that way. But after about four months I was like, I'm lucky and I'm privileged and I'm an asshole, but this is making me very unhappy. So I quit. Nat Wolf introduced her to the world of acting. Her boyfriend at the time, actor Nat Wolf, invited her to attend an improvisation class, at which point she realized that she wanted to become an actress after all. She told The Hollywood Reporter, I was like, oh, my god, I have so many feelings, and this is all I want to do. What have I been thinking? She enrolled at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art and later dropped out of New York University to pursue her acting career. She made her acting debut in 2013 with Palo Alto, which she scored after visiting Wolf on set. She told Verge, I don't even say anything. I was just happy to be on set hanging out because I was visiting a friend and Gia needed a girl to essentially cry to James Franco. And so I did that and that was my first acting experience, James Franco made me cry. Her breakout role in 2014, Qualley got cast as Jill Garvey on the supernatural mystery drama show The Leftovers which ran until 2017. But the part didn't exactly come easy. She told Versus Magazine that, after her initial audition, the feedback was that I too green and that I hadn't worked enough. They invited me to do chemistry reads in New York, but they had girls who were way more experienced than me. So they said I could come if I wanted, but I had to fly myself and put myself up. She knew she had to make the trip and as it turns out, it was all worth it. She earned the role and it ended up changing her life. Initial production on the series started after she completed high school and didn't interfere with her plans for higher education. She told Vogue, I did the pilot in the summer and then was able to go to NYU in the fall. Once the show was picked up for its first season, though, she decided to put school on hold and found the show to be its own intense acting school. She asked Margaret Robbie to cast her mom and maid. Qualley has always been desperate to collaborate with her mom on a project. In 2021, her dream came true when an opportunity to share the screen with her famous mom presented itself. 
on the Netflix series Made, the pair play characters based on a real-life mother-daughter duo. It's not by chance that they ended up on Made together. She told E! News, it was my idea, actually. I pitched the idea to Margaret Robbie because she's one of the producers on this, and she loved it. Within days of the pitch, MacDowell received the offer for the role. She had to grow her armpit for a role. Actors and actresses occasionally had to do weird things to prepare for their roles. For her role in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Quali was asked to grow out her armpit hair. She told Jimmy Kimmel, I guess I can really grow a lot of armpit hair. I started only a couple of weeks before shooting, but it was a long process, and by the end, I really had some. It's definitely a cool look that people do, but I was eager to get rid of it. I was ready, I was really excited when we wrapped. I got it waxed and it was really painful. She is insecure about her feet. All those years of dance have made Quali embarrassed to show her feet in public, making her barefoot scenes in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood a huge deal for her. She told IndieWire, I genuinely was like, Quentin, this is a bad idea. I don't have good feet. In W Magazine, she said, Quentin wanted my weird-looking feet up on Brad's fancy car's dashboard. I kept trying to hide them, but he insisted. When speaking with The Hollywood Reporter, she made her feelings about her feet as clear as day, I hate my feet more than anything on the planet. She didn't buy furniture for her apartment for 10 years. Margaret Qualley moved to NYC at 16 to study ballet. We'd expect the daughter of a Hollywood celebrity, who's also a rising star, to live in a large brownstone. Yet, Qualley lived in a modest studio apartment. She told Jimmy Fallon, It's taken 10 years, but I finally buckled down and I bought some furniture. For a very long time, I've had a mattress on the floor and a light from Ikea. She even showed a picture of her empty apartment with a plate of food and a laptop on the floor. Eventually, as Qualley explained, she realized that her living situation was getting ridiculous. Getting real furniture made life a lot easier for her. She is a brand ambassador for Chanel. Although her modeling career was short, fashion remains an important part of her life. Notably, Quali is linked to Chanel, of which she is a brand ambassador and for which she has walked the runway several times. Although she has appeared in the advertising campaigns of other fashion houses, such as Celine, Rodart, and Kenzo, for her red carpets, the actress almost always opts for the super chic creations of the French Mason.